Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, in the previous video, we had discussed regarding the DCL, right? We had seen that what are the DCL commands and basically how to deal out with that DCL command, right? And we had seen how the syntaxes, the commands, the functions, these were the things which we have discussed um, into the previous video, right? So, now today in this particular video, we are going to take out this DCL command. That's basically the transaction control language, right? So, um, in this, basically, there are total three uh, topics which come. The first one is commit, rollback, rollback, and the save point. Right? So these are the three basic functions uh, which just come out uh, under that TCL command, right? So we'll be seeing all the three right here in today's video. Okay, so we'll be seeing um, that what are they used for, how to use out the syntax for these particular three of the commands, right? But just one thing, let me move the side and yeah. Okay, so today's topic of discussion is TCL commands, right? So TCL commands, fine. So we are seeing that there were total three TCL commands, the commit, the rollback and the save point, right? So first of all, we'll be dealing out with the uh, commit one. So let me just put on the heading for the first one and the first one is actually commit, right? So we'll be seeing that first of all, what's the use of this commit function? How, well, like why is it used? And after that, we'll be proceeding with the other things in this particular um, topic, right? So I would just take out a color. Let's say it is this one right here. Okay. So the main use of the, uh, first of all, the main use of the commit command is basically it is, makes, it is used to make out the transaction permanent. So I would just write that. Uh, make, make the, make the transaction make the transaction permanent right this is the uh, use of the commit function whenever we just use out the commit function so this is the main use that um, if you are pre preferring to use out the commit function so we basically use it for making out the transactions as permanent right so uh, basically if there is any need for the transaction to be done into the databases then that transaction uh, can be like that permanent transaction can be done through the commit command. Okay. Okay, fine. So, okay, why I just wrote permission that is permanent. Just let me correct out the thing that is, um, just one second. Let me take out the same that is permanent. Right. So, as I mentioned, that it is used to make out a transaction is permanent. So, whenever it is a case uh, that they basically you just want to make out any of the transaction to be done in the database and that transaction permanent can be like made out with the help of the commit command right now let's check out that what's the syntax for this commit function so the syntax comes here as you need to write out that update um okay that is uh, like this update okay up the okay just one second um right here fine let me just calm down first of all okay so here's the update student uh, update student set student um, student uh, underscore name uh, is equal to let's say some name is there let's say that is a applying out that where condition where is student underscore name is equal to let's say something b so in that case do out here the commit this is the basically how we use out this tcl command it's not that case that this commit uh, command is used so you'll be using this commit command into the that statement only where we just need to put out no it's not the case so you just wrote out your statement, whichever you just want to make out permanent. Let's say here I just took an example. This is a quick example, okay, which I just took it off for a statement. So let's say I just wanted to make out this statement as permanent, right? This this transaction as permanent. The whatever the transaction I have done out here, I just wanted to make out this as permanent. So in that case, I could just first of all update out, like write out what are the transaction I just want to make that I have written in these above two lines. And at last, you could just simply write here commit. Okay, this commit function will actually help you to make this thing as permanent. As we had seen that, it is used for making our transaction as permanent, right? So, it will be making this above transaction which is written as permanent. 
right so hope you just got the idea regarding this permanent thing and basically what you can just do here is that uh, if you just want to make out any of the particular transaction as permanent so the best way for making that out is using the commit function right okay that is done now i would just move on to the second topic for today and that is basically my rule back so second goes and here comes the roll back command okay let me just come down uh, for the roll back command and let me just take out the color again as well which we had taken previously so that i could proceed with the right fine first of all uh, what's the use of this roll back command which is actually here what's the use why we just use this out so uh, basically this command is used whenever the database can be restored to the last committed state let's say you just want to restore the database according to the last committed state right so in that case this rollback is a command that we actually use out okay one more use is there that it is actually also used with the save point command for jumping to a save point in a transaction okay that is the secondary thing that we'll be discussing uh, with the save point topic but the main uh, work uh, for the rollback command is actually it helps the database to be restored in the last committed state okay and when we just, just combine with the save point so basically it is as well used with the save point command uh, for jumping to a save point in a base in a transaction okay so hope you just got the idea regarding this uh, rollback as well that what is this used for right fine now let's see out the example for this rollback so what i would just do here is that i would be putting out the different things um right here so what's the syntax so syntax is uh, basically example you would just write out the set of statement which you just write want to write out above and after that simply you would write the rollback okay let's say i'll be taking that same uh, one same statement which i have taken above that is update update student set student underscore name let's say these are some columns which i'm having onto this data which is student okay update a student set um okay just one second let me take out the eraser from here because it's like not properly like we are not able to properly read this out whatever i've written right so update a student set and here goes the is student student underscore name underscore name which is equal to let's say a is the name right uh, where where is student underscore name where is student underscore name and that name is actually b right put out the semicolon and at last you would be writing out here as rollback this is basically how you just use out the rollback so whatever the tcl commands we are having in that we what we like all okay just one more thing that whatever the commands which we have dealt till now in all of those commands uh we had used out that particular command name in the starting and after that basically we had done out the further things whatever we just wanted to do out right but in the tcl commands it's not the case first of all you would be writing that particular command you would be writing that particular function which you want to perform out after performing of that function you would be using out your tcl uh, like required tcl command right so basically uh, so this rollback command is actually used out whenever the user realizes that he or she has updated the wrong information after the student names and uh, you, and you just want to undo the uh, update right undo the like uh, update whatever you have right written out so in that case user can uh, use out the rollback command and then basically undo the uh, undo the uh, update right so this is the idea regarding this particular thing let's say you were just writing out an information and you just thought out that okay i just wrote this information wrong now i just want to uh, uh, like print out the previous information which was present you just, you just do not want to print out the new information right in that case simply you could just use out that uh, rollback command which we have out here right so hope you just got to know regarding that what is the first of all use of this um, rollback right and after that basically we have the third one that is uh, uh, that is the save point so i would just write that save 
save point command okay and i would just come down and take out a color from here now into the save point now what it is the use for so the main use for save point command is basically to save a transaction temporarily okay it is basically used for saving out a transaction temporarily okay now let's say uh, in this way the user can roll back to the point whenever it is needed right now uh, uh, let's say you just put out anything you just stored out anything so that thing is stored or saved uh, that transaction is actually saved temporarily not permanently so whenever you just want you just uh, can go back to the previous data whatever you have entered that is basically that rollback actually right so this is the idea regarding our this uh, save point um for example basically there is no such like uh, thing into this you could just simply write out your required statement and after that simply just write out the uh, save uh, point and like this okay that save point is actually in a small it's not in capital make sure to remember out that thing okay so uh, that is la, like save point after that you could just write the save point and run that particular thing so as I mentioned that the main use of the save point command is basically to save out a transaction temporarily. In this way, the users can actually roll back to the point wherever it is needed to that, right? Okay, so hope it has got out the particular thing regarding the save point, right? Now, we had seen three functions. We had seen the commit, we had seen the rollback and we have seen now the save point. Now basically what's the difference between all of these three functions which we had seen out, right? Uh, what's the difference between them? So oh, when we just talk about the differences between the three, so let's take rollback, commit and then the save point, okay? So let me just come down here and even let me take out some color for writing mm -hmm. and okay. So the first one is basically the roll back fine second one is my commit and uh, third one is basically my save point these three are the ones which we are like gonna see are the difference for so in rollback basically what is the case in rollback the databases can be restored to the last commit state right we, we had seen this thing in a way detail right here uh, that whenever we just deal out with the rollback or commands in that case databases can be restored to the last committed state right what about the commit function so it saves out the modifications which are made by the dml commands and it permanently saves the transaction okay so commit function is actually used in the case when when like let's say with the help of some dml command we had made out some modification okay so that it, it saves out that modification and it permanently saves out that particular transaction right this is the use of the commit function what about the save point so save point it basically saves out the transaction temporarily right so rollback basically it can be it, it is basically used uh, data case, databases can be restored in the last committed state commit function uh, command basically used to save the uh, save out the modif modification made uh, made by the dml commands and save point is basically it saves the transactions temporarily, right? What about the syntax for these three? So the syntax for rollback was rollback to save point underscore name, right? What about the commit? Commit was commit only and save point was as well save point, save point underscore name. Okay, let me write out those things because it's the important and that I haven't mentioned above. So let me just write out, write out that thing here actually. Roll, roll back into the bracket. Uh, roll back to here comes the save point underscore name okay roll back to the save point underscore name for the commit it is actually same that is uh, commit everything would be in capitals and for the save point we are having here are we writing a uh, save point would be capital I'm sorry above I mentioned that it would be small but no it would be in capital only okay make sure to put out that particular thing so here goes the save point and into the bracket you have the save point uh, you have the save point underscore name like this okay so this is basically for the save point and at last you are left out with one more thing so yeah example you can actually do it on your own so there is no such thing that you cannot put out the examples but yeah mm, these were the syntaxes 
the proper and the correct syntaxes which i have told you and which were not mentioned above uh, which from me into the uh, like above descriptions which i told you so i just summarized out the things right here so that it is um easier for you to understand out the things and go ahead with those particular things right so now i hope that you are very much clear with that tcl commands as well right so this is all for this video um till then thank you and take care